Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about categorization. Categorization is, of course, very, very important. The more documents you get in your SharePoint site, the more list items you get in your SharePoint site, the more important categorization is. By default, in a document library, as you see, I have three categories or three metadata or three columns that are visible in my view here. I have the name of the file, I have the modified, and I have the modified by. And as you see, I just uploaded these a couple of seconds ago. So if you want to categorize these more, the traditional way of doing this, if you're coming from a file system, is to create new folders and add things to those folders. That is very easy to do but I would recommend not doing it. The other options that I would recommend is either creating new document libraries. You can do that by going into site contents and adding an app and just adding another document library. This whole uh, document library called documents is of course, that's a really, really bad name for a document library. It's like putting file cabinets in your room and putting a big sign on, on top of it saying paper. It's accurate, but it's kind of worthless. So I would create many document libraries, like adding an app here, for example, I would have one for our quotes. I would have another one, add an app here, for my specifications maybe. And I'll keep going. And every time I have a new type of information, I'll put that in another document library. That is, without a doubt, the best type of categorization that you can do if you have different types of um, information. There are also some limitations of SharePoint that you should be very much aware of, that you really don't want to put more than 5,000 items in each document library. So having multiple document libraries is a really good idea and it's the best type of categorization and the easiest one. So if you have hundreds of categories, then it might get to be quite a bit of work to add these document library. It is of course possible to script that via PowerShell also. And I'll show that in another demonstration also, how to get started with the PowerShell and do that in PowerShell. But the principle of um, adding many document libraries instead of creating folders is definitely a good idea. And I've shown you how to do that now. Thank you for watching this demonstration.